Mushu gonna need to come, mama. I'm gonna drive it, drive it anyhow. Okay, so I wanted to start this whole like car car diaries, car series. Yeah, so it's just like me going to work on a daily and then yeah, stuck in serious traffic at Legon at the moment. It's seven what's the time? Seven six and I'm still at Legon. That means I'm getting to work after eight. But yeah, sorry if you hear of course the sounds of cars stuff like that i'll try and mute it out as much as possible so yeah i wanted to talk about um there was this issue where this woman saw me in traffic and she wanted me to give her away and i didn't and i like sped like, across and she was angry because i didn't give her away obviously you're always like kind of upset when you want to cross and somebody doesn't give you like she was in the car, she was not a pedestrian. And then I was like, why is she sitting shouting? And I didn't have four, so I was not using my ears. And she started shouting. Um and then then they I'm sorry, no more sugar that needs to talk calm my mama. I'm gonna no drive it, drive it anyhow. Eh? And then 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 there was another church driver then said, in bad yes, uh omu ye omu team din din ding. Talk about dancing, then, then, then. I was like, why is it a thing in Ghana when a young girl is in a car and she's driving a car? It's assumed that her sugar daddy got it for her, and then my hair's messed up. Like, it didn't dry, and I took the rollers out of it, so it's looking kind of messy. But, anyways, why is it a thing that? When a girl is driving a car, like, and she looks like fairly younger, it's assumed that either her sugar daddy bought the car for her, or she's some kind of prostitute, or like doing some kind of in quotes illegal work. Like, I really, really don't understand. And I was like, ah, why, like, why does this happen? And I was thinking, is it that it's not normal for people to? drive cars at a young age because here the movies we watch even the people who are not so wealthy when why is my head looking off this thing when they hit 16 they try and buy their children cars so is it that in the society that we live in that's make people think that way or like i really don't understand it because i know that i don't care no i actually care it hurts my feelings sometimes like why can't i have nice things or why can't people or young girls have nice things at a younger age like why is it associated with something bad? even boys sometimes happens to them like now this whole fraud thing so if you're younger but it's not really a thing as artistic girls like if i just nicely are holding a designer bag or i don't have a designer bag but you're holding something, you are doing something, you are going places, traveling and things. It's assumed you are with your sugar daddy, you are doing some kind of prostitution, you are selling your body in exchange for this and that and that. Like, I really don't understand why it can't be, oh, this girl is successful, oh, she's made her own money, bought her own car. I didn't buy my own car, my father bought it for me. Thank God, and I appreciate it. My mother maintains it. Like, it's just convenient because I stay far from work. It's not because of anything. I don't understand why why is it why is it a bad thing like why is it a bad thing to have a car at a young age well yeah that's one thing i wanted to talk about the other thing i wanted to talk about was um i realized something on twitter that when somebody has a problem especially money no money related by stuff like when somebody has a problem and somebody complains they're like hey car twitter money twitter rich gun twitter and it's a joke people take it as a joke and it's funny sometimes but sometimes you can't feel free to complain and tell your own truth your reality 
somebody's reality is oh god i'm so broke because they have just a hundred thousand in their account somebody's reality is god i'm so broke because they have just 10 cds to maintain bank charges in their account so everybody's reality is different so if i'm used to having one million in my account and i have hundred thousand today i'm broke to me i'm broke but if i'm used to having a thousand and i have 10 cds i am broke but your broke is different from my broke your broke is if i had your broke that's a hundred thousand i'll be in heaven but you having that broke doesn't mean you're not broke doesn't make it not broke because you're used to because of the one million you're used to a one million lifestyle so now that you have a hundred thousand you are supposed to cut back on some things so it is broke to you so i don't see like i don't see the problem like somebody can compl- let somebody complain in peace if you can't relate to the kind of complaint the person is complaining people are looking at me like me like i'm mad but if you can't relate to the kind of complaint the person is complaining just keep quiet and i need to look gross i need something was missing and i look so tired different my broke is different to your broke if you understand what i'm like where i'm coming from like let me complain in peace i'm broke i have 100 cds if you are broke you have a thousand cds of course i'm going to be like shit if i had your money but don't make it look so bitter and so annoying like eh, why are you complaining because i have the right to complain if i have only a thousand cds and you have a hundred cds because that's my book so i have a right to complain so don't come for people telling them that and eh, you don't know what you've got they know what they've got and after what they've got they think they are broke you're not underestimating the fact that or looking down the fact that you have 100 cds in your book that's your problem they're not even thinking about you they're thinking about how to restore themselves but you are there sort of putting your time into other things productive and making a thousand your book you are there with 100 cds your book and you're looking at somebody who has a thousand cities your book like their book and you are judging and you are being bitter and you are wasting your time on them focusing on them and the person is also wasting their time wasting the person is also using their time to make more so that they will not feel that broke again that's why i think the rich keep getting rich and the poor keep even though they extort us and they make some kind of monopoly or something out like to make money but it's still a thing like you can focus on your poor and let me focus on my poor because it's a different kind of pores like you understand somebody is by now in gis drives like drives a bentley to school and is complaining because today they didn't get the rose for us to go to school they have to send the bentley and people will talk and but that's the person's problem that's what the person is used to it's not bragging but that's what the person is used that's what the person grew up in but you today are complaining because you didn't have enough money to pick like a taxi or something so you have to do a church or like you're going to class if you have money to pick taxi you have to do a church and you're complaining don't let the person complaining about the bentley affect you look at the way you can move forward to a bentley also do you understand me i know you understand me i know you get it so don't make others feel like stupid for having more like if i have more i have the right to complain even though I don't have to rub it in your face. Even if I'm not rubbing it in your face, I'm just saying. Everybody comes to Twitter or wh- whichever social media and say, I don't have this. If I had this, I would have been happy if I had this. So why can't the person who is also rich say that if they had this or they want this, they will be happier? I don't understand that dynamic. Like, it's, it's a double standard. A poor person can complain and want something. But a richer person cannot want something because you already you Like, what are you not content with what you have? everybody wants more like even if people really want more you think jeff bezos will not be sleeping by now everybody everybody wants more you think dangote will be still strapped into the up there no but he won't like he won't ask him the more you make the more you want that's how it is by the way best yoga ever he knows it's a1
as if you were in that situation you would have done the same thing so don't make somebody else feel stupid for doing something that is their reality so just know that my reality is different from your reality we don't have to have the same we don't have to have the same reality so my reality might be a hundred cities i'm broke your reality might be a hundred thousand you're broke so don't make me feel stupid because if you were in my shoes i say again the same thing you would have done or probably worse so please mind everybody's situation know their realities are different somebody's suffering somewhere not even having food to eat that's the person's reality your reality is that they cook spaghetti but you don't want to eat spaghetti you want to eat, you, you just want to go straight to dessert and have a creme brulee like brulee like that's your reality somebody you think is bragging but that's what you grew up in so it's just like i'm just tired <laughs> <laughs> you can see that I'm really passionate about this issue because I see a lot of people like somebody cannot even complain in peace honestly so yeah that's from today's car diaries we'll see if we can do this tomorrow too I'll see you on time bye